Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Laughix. Got a video for you guys today. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a different format, so I want to get right into this right away, but um, I have extra footage on it. I got a little bit lazy. I used the Google, the, we have a store, Google Pixel. I used that one to be shooting it. So at least the camera quality is going to be good, but it might be a little bit janky, but I want to show you guys because you guys might have this error, especially if you guys are running or maybe a small offices that are actually running servers or something. We actually had this, this one. This is what the, I think this is the Precision T3600. And it's a nice Dell Tower desktop. I'll show you guys that in just a little bit because I already did the repair. But I think this is really interesting. Now, uh, I know a lot of, I know a lot of small businesses, they run a certain type of software and they don't want to ever get away from those softwares. They don't want to upgrade. I get it because it works, right? But we're finally getting to the point where we actually have one of our neighbors here and uh, they actually had um, this server that they wanted to upgrade to Windows 10 and it kept getting, because they wanted to use newer software, cloud-based software, upgrade their stuff finally, right? So Windows 7 is kind of dangerous because obviously it's not supported, it's not getting security updates, so they're very vulnerable to attacks and lots of other things. That's another video, we're not going into that. But while we're doing the upgrade form, we notice that there is a problem and it gets stuck there and it keeps looping over um, the OS when you try to do a Windows 7 upgrade, it loops over to, uh, tries to go Windows 10, gives an error and it gives you this error. I'll show you guys that in just a little bit, but it's like a safe OS error. I'll show you guys that all in this video obviously. And yeah, I guess let's just get right into it. Hey everyone. So we were downloading and installing a uh, Windows 10 Precision <laughs> desktop. We keep getting this error over and over again. So if I click this, right, it's actually showing like kind of not like a blue screen, but it is showing something on here. I'm just going to hit uh, turn off the PC because it keeps looping. Let's let it turn back on. Okay. And we turn it back on and we keep getting this install message it says we could not install Windows 10 we set your PC back to the way it was and it's giving this error it says the installation failed and safe OS phase with it with an error boot operation and if we boot back to it it's just going to keep looping since there is one drive maybe there's a problem with the drive maybe there's probably some type of hardware thing or some other type of software things blocking right but I see one hard drive down here it shows HDD it says there's service mode right next to it HDD power one but there's a blue port in there now there's two connections uh, one is connected to the hard drive excuse how dusty it is but another one is plugged into nothing now that's really interesting because if you look at the boot options I'm gonna go to the BIOS right now on this see this is the T3600 Okay, so I'm going to go actually to boot sequence and I see this is a legacy option, which is fine. That's okay. It's a 64 bit uh, OS, but if I go down and I go to, we see that this is AHCI in the operation, right? It operates in AHCI mode, but then if I go down next to that, this has a SATA and RAID op operation. Now, if I look at this, it says, note, this operation affects SATA and RAID controller only. The controller operates. The connectors on the motherboard that are marked HDD0 through HDD3, SAS0 or SAS1. So we see that this one is blue. It's actually marked. So I believe that's a special one. That's one that's connected to our drive. And um, also what I wanted, oops, that one's connected actually to our drive there. Let's go ahead and actually turn this off and then connect it to another SATA and see what happens. Okay, so I did turn it off and now I want to make sure that I am going to plug this in. I'm going to take this one that was in the blue. I'm going to go plug it in the white one here, which is the SATA zero connection. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, you can see even when I put on the Windows 7, I got this pop up when it came up. It says about the Toshiba uh, disk device is actually connected and there's software installed on it. So that's really interesting to see. So we'll see how the install goes. I'm in the middle of the install and this is, I never got this far yet. So it looks like it's working. Um, yeah, you would usually just give like that same screen again and keep looping, but now it's working on updates. It's not even connected to the internet, so whatever updates it's doing, it's whatever, but just an update, so it looks to be pretty good. Um, I'll follow up once this is done, probably just in a little bit. Okay, so I did get it up, but it did take a little bit of time, but it looks like we got Windows 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope you guys found this fix uh, very informative. If you guys are having this issue and you guys run a server, um, and you probably have that type of software, that type of driver, Make sure that you do this and this will actually take care of it because it drove me crazy, man. I kept doing it. I was like, why isn't it doing it? I thought it was some software. I thought it could have been antivirus. Um, I thought it could have been some GPU driver or something interfering with it because there's lots of software, right? So you don't want to go uninstalling all the software in the world that has to do with uh, the old Windows 7 one, even though it might not be compatible. Usually if there's an incompatibility with Windows 7 um, software, it'll tell you that. And it says this software won't be compatible with Windows 10. Maybe you have to uninstall it. Sometimes it tells you that. 
Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are watching this video and learn something. Again, sorry about the jankiness. I just want to show you guys, um, I guess I have to keep going back and forth. I want to show you guys open desktop and I think it makes it a little bit more authentic, doesn't it? Especially it's cool because we're a repair shop. We do all this stuff here. So hope you guys are watching, learn something. Please leave a like if you did. Are you are any of you guys still running Windows 7 that aren't a small business or you are running a small business and you just don't want to upgrade your software? Let me know down below. I'm really interested. I always like to know what people do for their in their tech world and you know what tries to make their life easier. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.